Hey, joined here today with Top Speed Golf Certified Instructor, Michael Durr. He's got a fantastic swing, and we're going to cut to the chase here. What are the pros doing to get into that pro impact? And a lot of it has to do with getting into great angles with this right arm. So we have a board drill here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to step on this board just to allow it to have a little bit of pressure. Michael, I want you to go to impact and get where you think you need to be with your right arm or where you would be in your swing. Yeah, and that, that's exactly what you're going to see with basically everybody on the PJ Tour. So a few things here. This right elbow pit is tucked into his side. So it's not flopping away from his body like this. The elbow is almost leading toward the target. And if I drew a line from the elbow pit itself, it would be facing out towards you right now, looking in front of him. We'll see that this right wrist is angled back and look at the shaft lean on that. This would be vertical. He's probably leaned forward a good 10, 15 degrees there, which is what every single tour player is gonna be doing coming through contact. Well, notice the left wrist is nice and flat. The left arm is straight. And you also notice how his hips and his shoulders are also opening up toward the target. Now this board drill is perfect for that. The visual that I want you to have is imagine like this, this the face of his golf club here almost has a nail sticking out of it. We're not gonna hit the board actually, but I want you to visualize that you're gonna drive that nail straight into the back of this board nice and flush. Now if you have the face of the club flush with the back of the board like this, it naturally puts your hands and arms in a great position. Let's go ahead and do it the wrong way now. So do that kind of stand up flip, you know, where the left arm kind of chicken wings, we come out of our posture, all this bad stuff we don't want to have happening. And from there, look how now the face is much more lofted. The hands aren't in front. He's not really putting pressure into this board. And the right arm, especially there, has got a big gap away from his body. So again, that's not what you would naturally do if you had this board down here. I want to take it to the next level. I want you to, to visualize, let's go ahead and work on a little bit of a draw here now too. I want you to get in that good position and feel like you just slide that board forward. But the big key here is, I don't want you to flip to slide it forward. I want you to keep the structure in that right arm and just rotate to get the board to slide forward. Exactly, so now the arm structure didn't break down. He moved the board a decent amount. You don't even have to move it that far, but he didn't get that flip. So if you do this the wrong way, you're gonna feel like you're flipping the board and you're really not driving through there. This time I just want you to kind of rotate just a little bit, just move the board maybe a foot or so and keep that good structure with your body. Just like that, yeah there, that was perfect. He's rotated his body open. He kept all this the way it was, good shaffling with the hands and arms and that's gonna train you to feel exactly what you need to feel to be dead solid, really strong through impact. So do that one more time. Notice how his body rotates here as he's coming through there. He's not standing up and flipping, he's rotating and driving it through there. That's the pro, if you can just do this one drill, do it in your living room, knock it out, you're gonna hit it so much better, you won't even believe. So let's go ahead and get rid of the board now. Let's actually put a golf ball down here. Let's go ahead and hit one, try it out. Notice how he gets a ton of shaft lean. He's very strong through, through contact there because he's got this good technique. There we go, that thing was solid. Yeah, the one thing that I always feel with this, go back down to that good impact position again, is I feel really connected with my right armpit. So this pit of my arm really feels like it's tight against my, my pec on the right side, and that's how I know that I'm doing it right. Now, unfortunately, most players are not gonna be able to do this because they have one thing wrong with their swing. They've been taught to square up the face the wrong way. So we end up doing something in an effort to square up the face that causes us to stand up out of our posture, to flip the club, to not have any shaft lean, for our arm to flop away from our side. All that comes down from something that I call the anti-roll method. You do the anti-roll method right, you can get into the positions we just saw there with Michael, that, that tour player position, you're gonna play some great golf. If you try to square the face the wrong way, it could just leave you on a hamster wheel. You're trying to get in these great positions, but the face is wide open because we haven't figured out how the, the right way to square it up like the pros. So I'm gonna play a preview video here in just one second. All you need to do is go ahead and click on the card that pops up somewhere on your screen or the link down below in the description and you get instant access to that video. I can't wait to share the anti-roll roll method with you. Let's go and get started right now. So here's the bottom line. If you've been taught to roll the club in the early downswing, that causes the shaft to get steep and that steep club causes all your problems. It causes you to hit it way behind the big hitters. 
and way inconsistent with your quality of strike. So you're in the tall grass and the trees and the hazards all day long. Now the great news is this, there's really only two pieces that you need to know to fix all these problems. The first one is we need to learn the proper way to square up the club face. Instead of rolling the forearms and getting steep, there's another way that the pros do this. Once you learn this right way to square up the club face, then you can shallow out from the inside and everything starts to fit together. Now I'm gonna teach you this right now in what I call the anti-roll method. You may also hear this called the motorcycle move or the tour twist, but let's walk through exactly how to do that. Now what I want you to do is go ahead and go kind of in the last parallel in the downswing. So here, I want my hips to go ahead and be opening up. I want my club to be parallel with the ground and I want my hands to be in front of my right thigh. Now, when I take my grip, you're gonna notice that when I do this, the club face is basically straight up and down. So if I'm looking at it from this angle, you'll see the face is straight up and down and my logo of my glove is pointed out in front of me. Now from there,